What's up fools, Retro Ray here. About to do some yard sailing, some thrift shopping for some good retro junk. I might not find anything, or I might find a little Samson. Who knows? Let's go. Okay, this is my first stop of the day. This is the Former's Market. I have found a few good things here while hunting for some retro goodness. Um, looks kind of, it might be a little bit too early this morning. I mean, it is only eight. They probably don't get settled up to about nine or 10, but um, I might actually come back later. This is looking, uh, this is looking pretty, uh, pretty dry right now. So uh, let's see where else we can check. Well, I've decided to go ahead and give the farmer's market a shot right now i mean i've seen some boots almost 100 percent set up so let's uh take a stroll i probably can't take the camera in there but uh we'll see what i can do maybe i'll find some good stuff <laughs> let's go all right that was pretty much a bust uh they there were some more boots that were um in the beginnings of getting set up so um, I may come back here later uh, it gets really crowded um, around 10 so maybe uh, maybe we'll take a visit to back but right now on to the next all right this is the farmers market uh, the south side farmers market it's hardcore so hardcore Last time I was here, I almost died. I'm not kidding. I'm <laughs> a crazy maniac driver almost ran over me. So uh, this is looking pretty dry too, but you know, we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see what we can do. Okay, also another bus. I'm starting to think what is the payoff of getting up early when people are just gonna set up late. I mean, it's a, uh, I just seen people pull up and start loading on their tables and it is 8.30. So I seen a yard sale down the road, that's what we're gonna do. And then we might revisit these places. Check you later. Okie dokie, uh, here's a yard sale. We're gonna go and check on this. Seems to be a few people here. At least these people look set up and ready. Um, so we're gonna go check it out and uh, I see clothes which that's probably all they have but um, let's take a look holy crap I just uh, came up on a box full of probably 50 or 60 NES games all top-notch titles one dollar each that's a that's a lie I did I did not find anything. Um, not a good day to be recording <laughs> a game hunt, a retro hunt. Um, but we're going to keep on, keep on keeping on. I've got a few more places I could check out, and we may revisit some of these places. Um, um, I may have to go to another county, which I don't want to, but hey. Um, if it's to find some retro goodness, then it's worth it. I haven't spent anything yet, so my budget is still intact. So um, let's keep the ball rolling. Don't ever say that again. I <clears throat> just came up on a uh, another yard sale here in Fox Ridge. Let's go check. Let's go take a look. Hey. Nothing at Fox Ridge today. Um, he had some VHS tapes in the box. I really didn't feel like going through them. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I just don't. So let's uh, let's see what else we can find. All right, some more yard sale goodness. I had to come ten miles out to another county, but. Uh, People really can't park um, here in Atkinson County. Uh, but hey, we're gonna take a look around and uh, see what we can find. 
All right, didn't really find too much there, but someone did give me an American flag. Go America! Um, did find a boombox uh, with cassette and CD in pretty good condition uh, for twenty dollars, which it it's well worth that. Just so happens to be 20 is about my budget for today, and I didn't want to wipe it out with the boombox. So um, let's uh, let's see what else we can find. Ah. Okay, we're at good old Atco video. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, my boy Harry is here. Great dude, great old guy. Uh, he usually lets me in the back and uh, plunder for some games. And uh, he also has actually everything on sale. VHS tapes, he's got thousands of them. So let's see if he's open and, uh, and if he'll let me plunder today. And no, Harry is not here, so I can't plunder. And uh, he probably opens at 10, it's nine. Um, and there's nothing left in this county. So I'm gonna go back to where I came from and I'm not gonna come back. I know I can get something here, but I'm not gonna drive back and then here, uh, not today. Um, so, um, damn it, I'm gonna find something. I'm gonna find something. And, uh, and it won't be a fidget spinner. I can tell you that, so. <sighs> Let's go. Lonesome yard sale. Maybe she has a TurboGrafx-16. Let's hope. <laughs> Another bust. Um, not having good luck today. Uh, but I feel, I feel something's on the horizon. Um, it's only 9.20, so I usually hunt to about lunchtime. So uh, we have <laughs> a few more hours to find something, but I'm running out of places. I really am. Uh, so heading back. Heading back to town. Let's see what they got. We have Here we are at the trusty old Lending Bear Speedy Cash. I have found some gems here, some pretty cool things, and let's see what they got today. I actually found something in there. It's not retro, but I wanted it. It's a PS3 game. Yeah, WWE 2K, can you get it right there, Ray? Uh, you're a terrible cameraman. I got this, six dollars. Yeah. Let's uh, see what else we can find. If I say that one more time, I'm gonna hit myself in the balls. This damn place is never open. Every time I come here, the doors are bolted. No one's here. I I don't even know where to go. Like there's 50 doors and they're all blockaded by stuff. Someone told me that they actually have uh, a Game Boy printer and I want it. I want to see it. But damn it, every time I come, this is like the 10th time and they're never open. So I don't know how you can... <laughs> how you can survive with your business always being closed. So, anyway, um, on to the next one. Okay, this is the Farmer's Market Revisited. Let's see if uh, some more boots have opened up and uh, find a whole box of Sega Saturn games and some Walkmans or laser discs or just a bunch of fruit. Let's see. Well, I am up damn set. You want to know why? Uh, this guy had a bunch of cassette tapes, and um, I collect cassette tapes, you know, of the bands that I like or groups. Or he had two live crew. Ah, man, did I want that tape? Open it up. Mm, the case was two live crew. The actual cassette tape was blood, sweat, and tears. Now, don't get me wrong. Nothing against blood, sweat, and tears. But when you open a two live crew cassette tape, that kind of stings a little. Uh, I, I mean, it kind of stings a little 
that it's blood, sweat, and tears. It's almost a laugh in your face. Um, so, ah, ah. Um, so now I guess we're off to uh, Perimeter, which uh, this old lady, she, uh, her and her husband, they have a lot of retro stuff, a lot of gaming systems. Uh, you just have to dig for it. Um, they can be overpriced. Like, she's one of those types, for instance, if it's a Mario game, it, it's, it's worth a lot, whether it's common or not. Um, so, um, their reasoning behind their prices are just ridiculous, but I have gotten some really good stuff there. Uh, Sega CD for uh, $45. Um, I've got an $80 game for $4. I bought a 32X for $15. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. So that's where we're heading to now. They just opened up and uh, maybe, maybe they'll have something good. Maybe they have pulled out some stuff from the dust piles and and um, and uh, I might go digging. So we'll uh, we'll just have to see. All right. Yeah. And here we are, coming up to perimeter. Uh, sometimes I call her the the old B, the B word. But you know, she's not too terrible. But uh, here it is. Let's go plunder. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, yeah, I found a um, a PS1 in. I found a PS1 box, like the um, second edition of the first PlayStation, um, and in it was the console. Uh, it was terrible. Uh, uh, a Mad Cat's controller and uh, no AV out. It, it, it was just, she wanted $45. Not gonna happen. So, um, that's it for this place. Gonna go check out the Salvation Army. Uh, and if that's my last resort, then I'm screwed. So, um, let's go check it out. All right, here we are at the good old Salve. And I haven't had too much luck here, but uh, the other day I did come across an NES game for two bucks. So uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. See if I can find some good crap. Nothing, not a damn thing. <laughs> so, uh, this may or may not be over yet. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, may have a few more ideas, places to check out. We'll just see. I told you I was going to find something, and I did. I know. <laughs> no beard. Thank God it's gone. Anyway, I told you I was going to find something, and I did. Robocop VHS, 25 cents. California raisins. Don't judge me. 25 cent. Ah. VCR quarterback game. Two dollars. It has everything in it. Every piece, every card, everything you want. Ah, I can't wait to play it. Ah. Game gear. Ten dollars. I gotta clean it up. It may work, it may not work. I've tried one method, gotta try another one. Mine went downhill here while back, and I'm hoping that this one just takes a little bit of cleaning, because when I found it, the batteries were corroded, and uh, it comes on, it powers up, but there's a lot of static in lines and stuff, but Game Gears are known to have a problem with its screens. Hopefully I can get it cleaned up, and it'll be awesome. I found these when me and my wife went to go hunt for a house, look for some stuff. I said, let's stop by the Goodwill. And I did, and I found 
all of these items there. So, never give up on a good retro hunt. Even when you had a terrible beginning of the day like I did. So, this has been Streets of Ray for Forever Fools. See you next time, fools! Yeah! Uh.